The concept of black holes often conjures images of cosmic monsters, devouring everything in their path. But what if we brought this terrifying phenomenon much closer to home? The idea of accidentally creating a black hole on Earth is a fascinating, albeit alarming, thought experiment that sparks both scientific curiosity and popular imagination. For many, the very notion of a man-made black hole sounds like something straight out of science fiction. Visions of catastrophic experiments gone wrong or uncontrolled cosmic singularities emerging from our laboratories might dominate such thoughts. The fear, or perhaps the intrigue, stems from a fundamental misunderstanding of what black holes truly are and the extreme conditions required for their formation, conditions that are simply not present in our terrestrial environment. To address this question properly, we first need to understand the fundamental physics behind black hole creation, a phenomenon rooted in Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. This theory reshaped our understanding of gravity and the very fabric of space-time. General relativity tells us that gravity is not a force in the traditional sense, but rather a curvature in space-time caused by the presence of mass and energy. The more mass concentrated in a given area, the greater the curvature. A black hole forms when an immense amount of mass is compressed into an incredibly small volume, creating such extreme space-time curvature that nothing, not even light, can escape its gravitational pull once past a certain boundary known as the event horizon. In the cosmos, most stellar mass black holes are born from the catastrophic collapse of truly colossal stars, those many times more massive than our sun. This process, known as a supernova, is one of the most energetic events in the universe. When these giant stars exhaust their nuclear fuel, they can no longer support themselves against their own immense gravity. The core implodes, compressing matter to extraordinary densities, ultimately forming a black hole. This spontaneous cosmic formation is a process that unfolds on a scale utterly unimaginable on Earth. The amount of energy and matter involved dwarfs anything humanity could hope to assemble or manipulate. So could we replicate these conditions in a laboratory setting? The answer, at least with our current understanding and technological capabilities, is a resounding and reassuring no. The scales are simply incomparable. To create a black hole, you'd need to compress a significant amount of mass into an extraordinarily tiny space. For example, to turn Earth into a black hole, you'd have to squeeze its entire mass into a sphere just under 9 millimeters in radius. This incredibly dense state of matter is known as the Schwarzschild radius, named after the German astronomer Karl Schwarzschild, who derived the first exact solution for Einstein's field equations. Consider the energy required to achieve such compression. The forces needed to overcome the strong nuclear force, which binds protons and neutrons within atomic nuclei, are immense, far beyond any technology we possess. Even if we could somehow gather the energy to compress matter to that density, maintaining such a state would be another colossal challenge. The material would immediately rebound explosively if the compressive forces ceased. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, at CERN is often cited in discussions about accidental black hole creation. This powerful particle accelerator smashes protons together at nearly the speed of light. These collisions generate incredibly high energies, mimicking conditions that existed just fractions of a second after the Big Bang. This makes it a fascinating place for physicists to explore the fundamental nature of the universe. When particles collide in the LHC, they momentarily achieve incredibly high temperatures and energies, leading to the creation of exotic new particles. Some theoretical models, particularly those involving extraspatial dimensions, suggested the possibility of creating microscopic black holes. However, these theoretical black holes would be absolutely tiny, far smaller than an atom, and would possess very little mass. They are often referred to as, quote, quantum black holes or micro black holes. Crucially, even if such micro black holes were created, they would immediately evaporate. This phenomenon is known as Hawking radiation, predicted by the brilliant theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking. Hawking radiation theorizes that black holes are not entirely black, but slowly radiate energy away in the form of particles. For very small black holes, this evaporation process is extremely rapid. The smaller the black hole, the faster it evaporates. A micro black hole created in the LHC would, according to these theories, vanish almost instantaneously, long before it could interact with any surrounding matter. The energy produced in LHC collisions, while immense by human standards, remains incredibly small when compared to the energy required to create a stable, macroscopic black hole. The entire Earth, 
If converted into energy, according to Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared, would only be enough to create a black hole with a truly microscopic mass that would instantly evaporate, making it harmless. Therefore, the possibility of the LHC creating a long-lived, dangerous black hole that could eat the Earth is scientifically unfounded. Numerous safety reviews and expert panels have concurred on this conclusion. Some might wonder about the natural phenomenon of cosmic rays. These high-energy particles from space constantly bombard Earth's atmosphere, and their collisions are far more energetic than anything the LHC can produce. If micro-black holes could be created and were stable, they would have already formed countless times throughout Earth's history due to these natural cosmic ray interactions, yet we have seen no evidence of them. This natural experiment, running for billions of years, provides strong empirical evidence against the stability of any micro-black holes that might arise from high-energy collisions. The lack of planetary destruction speaks volumes. Another theoretical scenario involves incredibly exotic states of matter, such as strangelets, hypothetical particles composed of strange quarks. While fascinating, their creation and stability are still highly speculative. Even if strangelets or other exotic matter forms were created, the conditions for them to coalesce into anything resembling a stable black hole are even more remote and require extreme assumptions. Some theories also explore the existence of primordial black holes, which are thought to have formed in the very early universe, just moments after the Big Bang. These would be entirely natural occurrences, not man-made, even if we could somehow gather enough matter and energy and possess the technology for unimaginable compression there are still physical limits that would prevent an accidental black hole creation on Earth. The process is simply too demanding. Think of it this way. Compressing an entire mountain into a speck of dust is easy compared to compressing matter to black hole densities. Consider the energy contained within an atomic nucleus. The strong nuclear force is the strongest known force in nature, and it works to keep protons and neutrons tightly bound together. To overcome this force and compress matter further to the densities required for a black hole would demand energies and pressures that simply do not exist anywhere in our engineered world. In summary, the laws of physics as we currently understand them prevent the accidental creation of a stable, macroscopic black hole on Earth. The conditions are too extreme, the energy is too vast. While the idea makes for captivating science fiction, the reality is grounded in the stability of matter and the limits of energy concentration available to us. We simply cannot concentrate enough energy safely. The Big Bang itself, the origin of our universe, was an event of incomprehensible energy density, yet it did not result in the universe collapsing into a single, massive black hole. Instead, the universe expanded rapidly, with varying densities leading to the formation of stars, galaxies, and eventually, life. This expansion is crucial to avoiding black hole formation at a cosmic scale. Some might wonder about extremely exotic scenarios involving quantum gravity and dimensions beyond our four-dimensional spacetime. While fascinating, these remain firmly in the realm of highly speculative theoretical physics. Even within these theoretical frameworks, the creation of a dangerous black hole would require specific conditions and assumptions that are not expected to be met or created by humanity. So rest assured, you won't wake up one morning with your coffee mug suddenly spiraling into a cosmic abyss in your kitchen. The physics just doesn't allow for it. The closest we might get to understanding black holes in a laboratory is through analog models, which use different physical systems to mimic certain aspects of black hole physics, such as light bending or Hawking radiation. These analogs, often involving sophisticated fluid dynamics or optical systems, are invaluable tools for theoretical physicists to test hypotheses and gain insights into complex astrophysical phenomena without the actual danger. For instance, researchers have created sonic black holes in carefully designed fluid systems where sound waves cannot escape a certain region, mimicking an event horizon for sound. These experiments, while not creating actual space-time singularities, offer crucial insights into the behaviors of fields near extreme gravitational objects and have even shown hints of analog Hawking radiation. The key takeaway is that these are simulations and analogies. They do not involve the creation of actual space-time curvature or immense gravitational forces, thus posing no risk. The universe, in its grand design, has built-in safeguards against casual black hole formation. The sheer scale of energy and mass required ensures that these exotic objects remain a cosmic, not a terrestrial problem. Our planet and everything on it are far too diffuse. 
and relatively low in energy density to collapse into a singularity. Every atom in your body, every mountain, every ocean, is simply not dense enough. Even if all the energy of a nuclear bomb were concentrated into an impossibly small point, it would only momentarily create a super-dense plasma, which would then rapidly expand, not collapse. The misconception often arises from the idea that energy equals mass, and that if we could just compress enough energy, we could get a black hole. But it's about the density and confinement, not just the raw energy alone. To create a stable black hole, the energy must be self-gravitating, meaning its own gravity must be strong enough to overcome all other forces and confine itself indefinitely. On Earth, all known forces, from electromagnetism holding atoms together to the strong nuclear force, are vastly stronger than gravity at small scales. This prevents matter from collapsing spontaneously. This delicate balance of forces ensures the stability of matter, allowing for the existence of atoms, molecules, and eventually, complex life as we know it. Without this balance, our reality would be impossible. So while the thought experiment is intriguing and serves as a fantastic springboard for discussions about fundamental physics, the scientific consensus is clear. Humanity cannot accidentally create a black hole. Our scientific endeavors, from particle accelerators to advanced fusion experiments, are incredibly powerful but operate within safety parameters that are orders of magnitude away from black hole creation thresholds. The universe itself is a natural laboratory where processes far more extreme than any human experiment routinely occur. Yet black holes remain rare, demanding very specific cosmic conditions. So, the next time you hear a sensationalized headline about a lab-made black hole, you can confidently explain the reassuring truth. It's a cosmic phenomenon, not a terrestrial one. The beauty of science lies in understanding these often awe-inspiring, sometimes frightening phenomena and dispelling myths with factual, evidence-based reasoning. While black holes themselves are fascinating objects of study, probing the very limits of physics, their creation remains firmly beyond our reach, both intentionally and accidentally. So for now, humanity can continue its scientific exploration without fear of inadvertently unleashing a cosmic void from within our own planet. The biggest dangers we face are often far more mundane 